this is a very complex case which is the upper formal implant and the doctor gave us a really good face ball which is face ball from these eyes here okay and then here's the nose and then we just horizontal and vertically horizontal i can get and then vertically it's a nice presentation then uh, we can make the mounting with the sam's articulator okay now uh this is the pre-op view which is we have to increase the more tooth showing just like this much four five millimeter okay that's the literature said usually whenever they rest position so we're trying to make the the six to four to six millimeter we have to increase it remember i showed you before regarding the face ball so now you check the all the all the way to midline and the smile line too that's why there's a main main topic so this is temporary doctor fabricated before they make the implant side here which is the will be implant okay and then the other side will be implant all right so technically they made the from the before the we have to do it about the vertical dimensions which is too low so we have to increase it so which means open the bite okay open the bite and let's make more increase this much at least two or three millimeter okay so this is wide open and the doctor and patient communicated with the colors called 1M1 compared to this. This is lower we have two. So we're going to make the crown, 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 crown. Then here will be implant side. So I have to check the really good occlusion curve of B and Wilson, which is really tough. And then according this, and then open the bite, and then we finish them up. So remember, like I said, we have to increase it vertical, show them four millimeter like this. You can add it, tooth, canine, it's lateral, the canine. So we can get the harmonizable midline and then horizontal line too. So we fabricated with the flex partial this, flex partial, flex partial, flex partial, flex partial, flex partial. You know why? Because doctor put into implant side one, two, three. So they don't have any tools though, they have only healing cap. I'm sorry, not this. And then here, how long? Upper about three to six months they have to seal it. So we just give them the flex partial, only this flex partial, flex partial, flex partial. But this is another temporizations with the temps, tem, tem. Okay, so basically we check the incisor edge, how much we increase it. So this is a guidance for this. Uh, like I said, this is the bottom line, which is remember, so it's rest position compared to before. Before was the here, they just need a little bit tools, okay? So we add a little bit more than much with the temporary, all temporary. That's good. Now this is temporary. We just put it back with the abutment types, which is abutment just like this. Remember? One, two, three. Okay. So we made this abutment with gold anodizes. So patient has the implant side here, implant side implant site okay so it looks okay looks 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 good horizontally is good right midline is good at the meantime so we finished the lower as you can see what i i noticed the the uh, lower and then here is a little bit color discoloration after the cement so i call it, this is high value okay high value meaning is really um sticking out you know reflected so I have to follow, looks like A1 color type, not 1M1. Okay, what's the difference? It's a little different color, just a little bit. But whenever I look at the upper, it has a low value, which is a lot of iname, which is not matching it. Okay, so this is a good point. Next, 
Right, this is the occlusion view, which is temporal is really good because you see the here, hole, the hole, hole. I like the lip support really well, but you see the discrepancy, so I can make same as, just like other side, no problem. Which is good, because then I can make the screw retain, which is the best, is a hole. Okay, so screw retain then over the top, because if I bring it in, I cannot make screw retain, otherwise screw will be outside, which is really ugly, okay? So this is a good guidance for the central. This is a good guide, just a little bit good, a little bit bring it out, bring it down, canine, premolar, and then we can finish it, okay? So this is the good guideline. So this one is a good guidance due to patient remaining the other natural teeth or fake restoration natural teeth. So this is the guidance for occlusion, just like that, which is occluding here to there, not this. What I'm talking about when, whenever they're occluding, this is not occluding like this. But my point, I have to put the all centric bite as well, along with the lower, okay? This is good guidance you see they want, all of the high value, so we have to change the value here more darker. More darker, just like lower. This is this is what exactly what I'm talking about. High value, low value, which is more trans in, with a little grayishness. Here's a reflected, has some color here, and there's the non mirror here too. So which is I have to follow the lower exactly upper because top and bottom. That exactly what I'm talking about is not look like A1 exactly, but I see the enamel here, but it's a high value here. So, okay, so now this is a high value, which is refabricated, all right? And then the, we test it with low value, with the other side, side, which is previous refabricated. You see a lot of translucency, little gray compared to a little bright, all right? So refabricated. Then now cemented ready to. So technically we finished this with a high value compared to lower as you can see. So now I got the good occlusion contact. You see same size of the all alignment with the lip support. Okay. Now here's the finished the restorations. Okay. And then the other things I would like to talk to regarding the, this is a pre-op. Okay, so pre-op has a really tight bite, but I liked it. This is a room, you see, which is a freedom of the tools I give them. More grinding the facial when patient protruding. So here is what exactly I duplicated like this. Has a little bit of room so they can get the movement easily after they cement. So this is done. Then here is done. The final restorations make the pretty with the predictability. All right, so now we're going to cement all together, then make one piece. So then this is the best screw retain types ever. All right, and then here is the information in the bite and the impression, impression coping is a lot of effort. Thanks for watching.